talking dirty to her. Oh, talking dirty to your wife. <laughs> no. That's what you get married for, so you have somebody to talk dirty to. I know. Yeah, and right. they can't say, yeah, and leave. You want to bet? Watch this process. You wouldn't leave. Me. You love nah. Yeah. And who can blame you? <laughs> <laughs> you might hear a whole storyline on that. All women love me. I've got a story or two on that. My girlfriend says that I not have the Joe luckiest, Deppa. My girlfriend says that I have the luckiest <laughs> wife alive. Really? Yeah, yeah. And I'm, I'm thinking Why about. Why you bring her out? Well, I'm thinking about I'm back. I'm thinking about backing off mm -hmm. because the way she's talking, it sounds like she's ready to take it to the next step and do something about you being alive. I gotta shut mm -hmm. that shit down. Oh yeah, please help me. <laughs> I think we saw this on, uh, what is it, N N N C N N C I C or whatever it is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, Have you seen any of these programs like, uh, there's one called The Mentalist. It's really I quite- I love The Mentalist. I love, I love that. That is the cutest oh, thing I've ever seen. You know, he is so quirky and is so funny. He really is. Um, Did you ever get into the background on that show when you were watching it? The way it gets started is he was a lifelong con artist, high level con artist. I never saw that, no. I mean, from the time he was a child, when yeah. he was a little child, yeah. his, his, his dad would, play, would act like a psychic. Mm. It was using him, had him acting like a little psychic boy. And people would come to carnivals and give him a shit pile of money, and he would do readings on people. Oh, and I stuff. gotta see that. This you is know? an original yeah, episode. Yeah, you need to go on Netflix. And and so, oh, I'll get him. And I'll so get him. he, uh, and so he becomes this lifelong con artist, and then finally he gets busted uh -huh. in a big way, and he's gonna go away for a long time. No, no, that's not what it was. He decides to change his life, and he just turns up at this police station and starts offering him help. You know, he went to jail for murdering his wife. Yeah, but he wanted to get the when true killer back, caught. Yeah, he got out. And so that's how he got involved with yeah, He just showed up at the police department saying, I, I wanna, I wanna help. And so he ends up becoming like an official uh, consultant. <laughs> To the homicide department. I don't miss an episode if I can judge And him. everywhere they take really him, you know, I mean, he just, he just I'm reads people. You guys are if, you Wait, ask, if you ask him if there's any such okay. thing as psychic or psychic uh -huh. powers, he goes, no, it's nonsense. Wow. There's nothing to it, it's nonsense. It's just observation. Oh, right, right, right. You know? That's what's cool. I don't really agree with that. And then sometimes he's he's wrong. I mean, he's not sure about something. Yeah. That's what I like. I like the fact he's not sure about it. And he can bust out the, your your standard oh. con artist, hustler type, you he know, is in so a heartbeat. Cool. He is know. so cool. He can look at him and tell if they're lying, you know. And he can set them up. Oh, yeah. I like the way he sets them up. All right, wait, let me start.